Hey everyone, it's Sarah from SlimDownWithSarah.com and I am going to do a dinner vlog for y'all. Uh, tonight we're having meatloaf, mashed potatoes and corn, my favorite, favorite meal. Sorry, I usually look like a mess around this time, uh, but not trying to impress anyone. So, first what I got is obviously my 80-20 ground beef. Um, instead of breadcrumbs, I'm using my Nichols 35 calorie uh, light wheat bread. And, hi baby. Hi. Did you put all your toys back? Yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. I can't see it. Did you clean up everything? No. I well, go see. finish cleaning everything up. Okay. Go ahead, go finish cleaning everything up. I want towels. Okay, go finish cleaning everything up. Okay. And then instead of using the whole egg, um, I just like to use the egg white. So, voila. Then what I do is I just pretty much break up, um, well since this is the first time I'm ever making it like this, I guess it's kind of just trial and error. Good job. Yeah, daddy get home. Daddy get home. Daddy get home, mommy. Okay. So I'm just right now. This is two pieces of bread, um, and I'm just gonna continue to cut it up. Well, break it up into a bunch of little pieces. I guess three pieces should probably be good, which in the end, since um, it's only 35 calorie per piece bread, that's what, so a little over 100 calories, plus the beef, um, plus the egg white. I'm also going to put onion and carrots, and I think that's all I'm going to put in this batch. Sometimes I put green pepper, but I don't think I'm going to this time. So right now we'll get the onion somewhere in here, a white onion, and I know the carrots. Oh, here the carrots are. Whoa! And they're just my carrots fell all over the floor, but thank goodness I'm a clean freak because the carrots are nice and clean still. Yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. Let me finish cooking. So I got six carrots in my food chopper doohickey thingy and this much of an onion. I love onions, but... You know, I don't want to be stinking all night, so I just kind of throw that much in here. Chop it up a little bit. And then I'm going to put that on. Sorry for the noise. Oh, Mommy was chopping up stuff. So you get... Ugh. Is that a bunch good? of onion and carrot. That's mm -hmm. not gross. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Good. It's good. It's very good. I don't want to eat that. Oh, you don't have to. And I just toss that in here. Now you're gonna ask me how many calories and fat and blah blah blah. You know what, I have no clue, but I'm going to assume that this is probably a lot better than using a buttload of regular bread or breadcrumbs, um, thrown in sausage or pepperoni or, you know, whatever other people use uh, to throw into their meatloaf. This has got to be healthier. Also throw in a dash of Worcestershire, or however you say it, sauce. Uh, just because my mom told me to ever since I've been making meatloaf, so that's what I do. But apparently, I haven't been because that was brand new. 
And I just sprinkle some on. I don't measure anything. You want to preheat your oven to 350. So you don't have to sit around and wait for it to bake. Get your meatloaf dish ready. Put away all your fun things. Well, actually, I'll use that for the potatoes. Ugh, this onion is still too big for this. It's all right, I'll make it fit. Ugh. See, I'm all about cleaning as you go. So you don't have to clean up. Throw my hair back so we don't find any stray hairs. And we mix and mush. What broke? It smells so stinking good, it's ridiculous. Uh, before I turn it into a loaf, I'm probably going to want to salt and pepper it after it's all mushed. like that chopping crap but I ran all out of it so I just use these ones and like I said I don't measure I just kind of eye it make sure I got all the soap off my hands before I go digging in it again Mash. so you can see what I'm doing Okay, so it's in its loaf. Let me wash my hands again. And I don't know how y'all prepare your meatloaf, but I was taught to throw ketchup on the top while it bakes, and I'm sticking with that. Nuggets. Okay, I'll make you some. Okay. Eat in tater tots. Chicken nuggets and tater tots. Famous lane. So I just take good old fashioned ketchup and just squirt it on all over. So it makes a farty noise. And then I will bake this in the oven at 350 for roughly 45 minutes. Get my water boiling and skim shred, I don't know, whatever you say, you know, what is that? You know what I mean. Get the skins off, cut them up, throw them in the pot of boiling water. I will probably, since I don't have any skim milk, I will be using the children's milk, which is 2%, which I know is very bad. Right, fat and all that good stuff that we're not supposed to have. But since I do portion control, how much milk are you really gonna get? I also use, yeah, I'll be using 2%. believe it's not butter light. Can you see that? My vision's bad. Um, and some salt and pepper. Long to go with my meal. I will be having some Walmart corn. Probably just a cup. Maybe a half cup now that I'm looking at the calories. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like when it is all done and tell you how it tastes. And by the way, I just wanted to note that I'm not here to give you the most healthy meals ever. Um, I'm not here to tell you how to become a bodybuilder or how to lose nine trillion pounds. You know, I'm just here as your Beachbody fitness coach 
to show you, you know, little ways that you could cut, you know, not so healthy things. Um, not so healthy, is that what you should say? Yeah, not so healthy things out of your lifestyle. Um, I mean, sure, I could be making those cauliflower mashed potatoes right now, but I mean, considering I only have mashed potatoes. I want to get my water! You want water? Okay. But considering since I only have mashed potatoes maybe once every two weeks, I mean really, what what is the harm that I'm doing? And I can guarantee you, like, I don't know, unless you are a health food uh, freak that, you know, you're not going to sit there and make cauliflower mashed potatoes. I don't know how easy it is. It's probably easy. Um, but the taste of a real homemade mashed potato just really hits the spot for me. Um, I'm famous for making my meatloaf. I mean, everyone always wants me to make my meatloaf. So that was just a different way that I make it, <clears throat> that I'm trying to make it to see, you know, if it's healthier, you know, if I could throw in a few more extra veggies, why not, you know? Um, So, all in all, to sum it up, you know, I'm just here to help give you some recipes for dinners and, you know, just remember to always have portion control. You know, that really is key. You should be able to enjoy all the foods that you love because you only live one life. Um, I can't imagine eating salad, you know, every night for dinner. So, um, you know, if I can help in any way by showing you how to make these little kind of sort of healthy meals, then that's what I'm here to do. But so far, I have achieved the body that I have gotten so far, which is losing roughly 50 pounds. You know, you all see the definition that I have in my body. Um, I mean, and I've achieved it eating this way. So, I mean, imagine what it could have looked like, but you know, we could always say what it could have, should have. So anyways, now that was my little blah, 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 blah. I will show you what it looks like at the end. Bye. So now the potatoes are all nice and squishy. And I'll take 2% milk. I don't know how much that is, but it looks good. Some, I can't believe it's not butter light that much. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more. Mm. And we'll mix. Daddy? I always forget salt and pepper. So the potatoes are done. Let's have a taste. Yeah. Let's have a taste, Asher. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to taste good. My potatoes always taste good. Yeah. Of course. They taste great. So here's Hubby's plate. Since he likes whopping helpings, I'll show you what his plate looks like. So it's like, ooh la la. Yummy, yummy in my tummy instead of my measly little servings. This is a man's dinner. What? What?
here's what the meatloaf looks like. It looks like a basic meatloaf, but let's cut it open. Mm. Ow, I totally forgot that that was hot. Okay, so that's what it looks like at the end with the carrots and the onions and the ketchup and the corn and the mashed potatoes and roll. That's, like I said, hubbies. Yummy, yummy, yummy.